I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the Origami Killer case in any way. I think the implication is that Mr. Kramer is associated with the Mafia because uh, they say he's like a construction tycoon. But um, in the United States, there's this, I don't know whether it's actually true, but there's this kind of um, shared notion that um, construction companies are very mobbed up. R1, L1, and I'll up for the backswing and throttle down. See, it doesn't work. You need to really push it hard in order to get it to work. My son had nothing to do with that sort of case. I'm trying to do it smoothly because I want well, to do a nice smooth golf shot. But the game isn't co the game isn't cooperating with me. You have no business investigating my son. I told you he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer. It's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Go oh, up. This time I didn't need to hire one and all one. I'm an influential man, Mr. Sherman. And I did very well. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Maybe he's not mobbed up. If you do, you'll regret I don't know why a mafia gun would uh, have to bribe someone to get them off of an investigation. They have soldiers. It's very strange that uh, Mr. Kramer is even interested in uh, squelching this investigation. It's possible that uh, he knows about something that uh, Scott is going to find if he keeps inquiring. But that also contradicts the theory that um, Scott was only investigating Gordy because um, Varen was around with him. I thought maybe that Scott knew Gordy was innocent and he was trying to lead Varen down a wrong trail. But if that was the case, why would he continue investigating Gordy when Varen wasn't even there? Is this the place that the origami lizard told me to go to? It's got mice. I'm glad they're not rats. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. You can shake them. What else can you do? <laughs> you can smash them in half on the floor. Where are you, Sean? I have a feeling Sean is not here. There's a jingling sound. I just picked up a key from the floor that fell out of the lizard. I guess all I needed was the key because now I don't even have a prompt for any of these other lizards. And here's the lizard door. There's just a 12 pack of Sobe inside along with a poster that says, Drain the Lizard.
Ethan has to have one fun try on, right? That's like a reprieve from all the other horrors. He completely cut up his arms and legs. He had to crawl out of a burning car. He deserves a break. There's a uh, electronic device on the table. I'm not going to look at that yet because that seems to be like the centerpiece and I want to have a look around. There's a knife sticking out of the wall. This also looks like a propane tank or something. An old stove that isn't working and has like the hinges torn off. The whole front door is actually torn off and all the burners are torn off. It looks like this um, apartment is actually burned down or something. Or uh, the interior was destroyed in a fire and uh, the fire was doused before the building collapsed. Ethan likes to sit in chairs, that's just part of his personality. Does he have any thoughts? He has no thoughts right now. That's um, either a door that was bricked up or maybe a fireplace that was removed. Oh, and there's a pair of scissors and like a hand axe or a hatchet. And a TV with a glass broken into the tube exposed. But well, there's a toilet here, too. A broken bathroom mirror. A tub. Alright, here goes nothing. This is just stupid. What evidence is there that if I do this, the uh, killer will even release my son? Maybe this is all just a fuck with me. This is like a wood splint or something. What's he gonna use this for? Totally not do this if it, if it were me. What does he have to do? Put it down on the desk? Yeah, okay, he has to pick up stuff and put them down on the desk in order to prepare. There's a saw. Do you really want to use a saw to cut off your finger? It seems like a very... No, don't sit down. You don't have time. Get up. It seems like a really disgusting way to um, you amputate have your finger. Four Let's see if there's anything more clean than a saw. Maybe like a... A chopping knife isn't going to do it because it's not heavy enough. You can't cut your finger off in one swift motion. You're going to have to like grind it off. God. Anything else in here? Disinfectant. Alright, take the disinfectant. I like how there's no captions to explain what any of this stuff is. It's just all kind of implied. Is there anything else here? Scissors could actually be one of the cleaner ways to cut off your finger if you absolutely had to. They'd have to be very sharp scissors, but if you just, like, clamped down on one end and put enough pressure on, you could get a really clean cut. It probably wouldn't go straight through in one motion, though. Oh my god. I think we cleared out the bathroom. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Is that a flask of whiskey? If that's the only anesthetic I have, it's better than nothing. And here 
carry the scissors. I'll take them. No, that's not scissors, that's wire cutter. Wire cutter is perfect. Wire cutter is, like a big thick wire cutter is exactly what I would need to um, cut off my fingers smoothly without too much pain or infection. I'll take all of the implements and put them on the table. This could all go horribly wrong. I'm not going to save my son by dying here. This is fucking nuts. I can't do it. That's exactly I what I'm thinking. I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this. I mean, I really... I don't know. I'm going to play this game by my gut and think that um, I already failed one trial, which I was really trying to succeed at. But this one, um, I don't know if I'm going to get enough information without passing all the trials. And cutting off your finger could really hamper your ability to uh, continue to try to save your son some other way. If I were in real life and this was happening to me, even if I loved my son, I would not do this because um, Doing it isn't going to force the killer to release my son, or to give me accurate information. This could just be like some, meth some method of uh, torturing me. It's really, it's really dubious whether this is a good idea. Alright, I'm going to drink some whiskey. Think about it. Try to numb the pain. One more swig. If there's any left in the bottle, you have to finish it. Okay. Two and a half minutes. I have wire cutters, I have a hatchet. I can look around at the saw, the uh, meat cleaver, the anesthetic. Oh, there's a splint. I don't know what this is going to be used for. He's holding it in his mouth. I guess he's getting ready to use it. He's taking the top off the anesthetic. All right, he's just gonna pour it on his finger in anticipation. cleanest way is with the wire cutter. The controller is vibrating like my heartbeat. What's the slow up? Is the slow up to prepare myself to amputate my finger? Oh no, that's actually like... Take a deep breath. Up. Down. Up. I have two options, try it and do it. I don't really want to take either of these options. I can't take a deep breath because I'm breathing too fast. Slow. 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 Oh my god, I don't think there's any additional benefit to this. Down. I'm gonna put that down. Screw you guys, I am going home. I love Sean, I love Ethan, I hope they're reunited, but I am not cutting off my finger. No way, no how, never. out okay. I really hope the game gives me a chance to uh, try to thwart the killer in some way other than by passing the killer's trials because the killer's trials are seriously fucked up. I have no idea what the second trial even was because I couldn't make it through the glass. Um, but uh, 
I guess maybe if you crawl all the way through the vent, uh, there's like another SD card that shows you uh, more of the address at the power station. I just, I don't know what else was in there. I don't know if there were rats in there. And then the third trial was fucked up beyond all belief. I think it's beyond all recognition, right? Fubar, fucked up beyond all recognition. That's exactly what I feel about the third trial.